I was born way back in the day, Monroe, Louisiana. I was the third child of four. Okay, this is a picture uh, of my mother, uh, Eunice next to her with the hat on, me in the middle, and Ivy on the end, my sister Ivy, who was the oldest. We moved to Detroit when I was two years old, 1943, and we came in on the train station, and it was fantastic, it was beautiful. We sang all the way from Louisiana to, to Michigan, God Bless America, the four of us, on the train. My father's mother, I ended up caring for her for several years. I was in high school when she came up. My aunt came to the house and she asked the four of us uh, who wanted to go. I said, I'll go. And I left my family. Someone had to be there with her all the time. It's just life. It's just things that you do. Yeah. So no, I just went to help her because she needed help. Oh my gosh. Do you know how long ago that's been? I graduated from Northeastern High School, which is torn down now. At that time, I was quiet, <laughs> real quiet. Evidently, they liked me because they voted me as the recording secretary. I have <laughs> four children, three girls and one boy. I raised my, all my kids here in Detroit. They were born, two born in Highland Park, two born in Detroit. This was a God set. He called me to come over to St. John's. So I have been active in this church. My kids have been active in this church. And I have done, I think, about everything in the church but preach. And I've done some of that too on the side. <laughs> they had an LWML ladies group, Lutheran Women's Missionary League. That was something that I was called to join. And I have been with LWML ever since. I've held quite a few positions here at the uh, local level. And then I got a lot of encouragement and went to uh, district board. So now I can relax a little bit, but I still have to work. <laughs> you, don't, you don't sit down. You don't sit down and say, well, this is it. No, no such animal. You know, as long as God has some work for you to do, that's what you do. You keep going. I joined that society because they were working with children. We sponsor children. We raise funds for children. We have Christmas parties. We gather school um, books and things that they need for school. I told him, I said, now, if you want me to be president, you, um, it's not going to be done the same way. I'm not the same person that you had before. So there will be some changes made. So I made some changes, and it's going good. When we were younger, people helped us. We were basically on our own. We didn't know anything about being poor. We were poor. A lot of times we didn't have anything to eat. I had a teacher who would pick me up from the house and take me to school. And so, you know, when people help you, what you don't even think about, then subconsciously you want to give back. The mission of Project Compassion was to service the seniors in the area of Detroit. They have buses and they provide transportation for the seniors in the homes and they would want to take their seniors on trips like to the ball game, to the Christmas lights in the park, just to go out for lunch, just to go to another church, just to be active and to get out because a lot of the seniors are in the homes and nobody would come and see them. I read in my Bible study the other morning, it said, he gave us time of 120 years, and I am going to work those 120 years. <laughs> so whatever time he calls me, if it's before my 120 years, good and faithful servant. That's all I can say. <laughs>